Lawrence Earl Gideon, the jury finds you not guilty. Court is adjourned. What are you going to do now? First thing is, I'm going to track down my kids. And, well, for one thing, tonight I think I might like to go back to the pool room. Oh. <laughs> Somebody lend me a few dollars. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Curtis. Get in. Do you feel like you accomplished something? Well, I did. On November the 1st, 1963, Attorney General Robert F. Kennedy said, if an obscure Florida convict named Clarence Earl Gideon had not sat down in prison with a pencil and paper to write a letter to the Supreme Court, and if the Supreme Court had not taken the trouble to look for merit in that one crude petition among all the bundles of mail it must receive every day, the vast machinery of American law would have gone on functioning undisturbed. But Gideon did write that letter. The court did look into his case, and he was retried with the help of a competent defense counsel, found not guilty, and released from prison after two years of punishment for a crime he did not commit. And the whole course of American legal history has been changed. <laughs> <laughs>